Okay, this is a tutorial on how to embed the screencast videos into a Blackboard text box area or an item where you can find a text box editor. So first of all, I'm going to click on the particular video clip that I want to embed. And the Java runtime may run. Hi, and, and I'm going to just turn that off and then I'm going to just scroll down just a little bit and notice I have share link right here so um, I do recommend using both actually putting a link directly to the screencast as well as embedding but you can do one or the other um, you know first you can do this share link and then you can come back and get the bed embed code now you do have a choice here and I would choose um, from here because what I've tried to do before is to actually resize that once I actually embed it into the text box area and something happens to it so try the 800 picks and that should be fine the code does change here for the iframe width and height so just remember that if you decide to uh, go to a different width but the 800 pixels should be fine. So I just click into this box. It actually highlights the code and I'm just going to do a control C or you can right click and do copy. And then I'm going to actually open my Blackboard Classroom and I'm going to go right into the weekly modules or wherever I want this to be. And let's just say I want it in week two. So I'm going to click on my week two learning module and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select build content create item and that's going to give me that text box editor now I can put some text here um, PowerPoint lecture however you want to title that you could put a little bit of information here and then what you can do is you're going to need to come over to this HTML code view so click on that it's going to open a code view window and this is where you're going to control V or you're going to paste and this is the iframe code so once you paste in the iframe code and update then notice you see this is going to be your actual video so I'm going to just do a preview and that's what it would look like to students so they can click on this play screencast triangle and then it will start the video so that's just the preview window I need to submit first now I also recommend if you want to just in case the students can't see this and I might have mentioned that sometimes you have a, a blocking of multimedia in your um, browser window and usually just going to bring this up here usually you'll have a shield that looks like this almost but it's a gray shield and you need to enable the multimedia so that's why I recommend also bringing the link in so I'm going to go back to where that information was and this time I'm going to bring in the link control C for copy I'm going to go back in here and you can type in something um, I have this in a couple of my classes if you cannot view the video go to this link and then you can just paste that in now it's not going to be a hyperlink until you actually make it a hyperlink so highlight it here notice how this just um, it was grayed out before and now it's not it's bold now you're going to click on this little it looks like a little um, paper clip or chain link a dialog box opens and you can actually paste that URL address in and I usually recommend to open it in a new window that way um, the students will still be in your blackboard class and they'll be able to open up the video in a new window and then click on insert and that way you have not only the video clip but you also have a link just in case this is blocked or something happens and their browser will not display it and then remember to submit and this is what it will look like now um, 
you might decide that this is a little bit too large so go back here and remember I said you could change your width here if you do small let's see what that looks like so I'm going to highlight that again control C gonna go back to blackboard and this time I'm gonna go back and edit this area and what I'm gonna do is just delete this and I still need to go back to the HTML code view. Click on that button. Now notice you have two P's and that's a code for paragraphs. So you can just do a control V right in between those paragraphs. So this should be a smaller size. Let's check it out. I'm going to click on update. Oh, that might be much nicer. I'm going to go and preview. Okay, great. I think that looks better. And students can still play it right here inside the window as long as they're uh, Hi, Roxanne. as long as their uh, Java runtime environment is working. And so I'm going to now go up to the top or the bottom and submit. And let's take a look at how that's going to display. Okay, so I do like that better. 500 pixels a little bit smaller and that way if this is blocked for some reason by their browser they'll be able to click on this link and go straight to the screencast and see it now they will not see all of your screencast uploads they will only be taken to that one because that's a unique URL address so for example this is your library they will not be taken to the library they will only be taken back to that particular video that you pasted the URL address for okay I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps alright thanks